Well, after seven years in France, here I am in Lincolnshire, not a place I expected to finish up in. Of course, I know this area from before because my father was here at uh, RAF Manby when I was only 18 years old and going to college before I did my degree. Anyway, France, wonderful seven years, but due to family wishes, uh, I've had to come back to England. I would have stayed another five years, possibly. But as it is, uh, we had an offer on the house in France, and so we sold. Looked all around England, wanted Devon or Cornwall, very expensive down there to get new land. And this area of Lincolnshire is still, especially in summertime, very, very pretty. And we found a lovely little bungalow here with an acre of ground, which I can do a lot with. Of course, I have to be careful because of the uh, incapacities I have, because I can't do too much myself. But what's happening is that I'm putting all of my creative juices into the planning and development of the gardens here and the house here. It's uh, a whole clean slate, absolutely just vir virtually a field when I came, an old pond, many of the trees have been cut down and it's just open to my development. So with the help of various professionals locally and my friends and my, uh, and my fiance and her son, we're managing to get quite a bit done as I'm going to show you in this film now because I thought you'd like to share this, I thought you might like to see the development of the gardens, um, ideas for yourselves and just to share the life and the fun that I'm going to have now here quite, quite different. It's been quite a traumatic experience leaving a place that I love so much and have spent so much time and work on, of course, and it's very, very different coming back to England. There are pluses and minuses. The worst of all were having to get rid of my artwork, which I, looking back on it, wouldn't have done in that way. I offered it to uh, an auction in London and they didn't do it well at all. They didn't catalogue it well, they didn't do it properly. Rather upsetting, as you can imagine. Um, degrading and, and uh, a lot of hassle and sweat. There was nothing I could do about it because I trusted them and gave it to them on my return journey. And I donated money to Haiti. There we go, that part of my life over with. And I've kept the best of the, my favourites of the work back, so I've got that to show still. And when I feel like it again, maybe I'll start painting again and creating again. I'd like to make a small gallery here so you'll see that develop. So at the moment then, all my creative ideas into the gardens and then maybe I'll develop the artwork and make contacts later. So, why don't you share this with me and I'll show you round the gardens and how we've gradually developed the whole thing. Uh, you've just taken a quick look at what Lincolnshire's like. As you see, there's Lincolnshire Wolds and then it comes down to this more flatter, fen-like area. And of course you've got the sea only a quarter of a mile from us here, where the tide goes right out and right in for miles. So it has, as I say, its very own beauty, quite different to France. Manby is now closed as an RAF station, but 40 years ago my father was stationed here, and I went to Grimsby Technical College from here. Now all of the houses have been sold off as private residences. This is where we used to live, and right opposite is the church of Manby. Very sadly, in its grounds are many more modern graves of airmen killed in the Second World War. I found this scene both poignant and attractive and decided to do a painting of this view using both the perspective of the graves and the church in the background. The view has changed now because more trees have grown over, but here you can see the original view and slightly to the right the painting I did of that at the age of 18. <laughs> 